Deep Down Cleaning, your one-stop cleaning outfit for Deep Down Results. John Moore at the Scotiabank Centre in Halifax, joined by Moncton Wildcats' uh, recent signing, G. Blackmore, who was with the uh, Pictou County Weeks, but uh, now a Moncton Wildcat and makes his debut here tonight. Did G, maybe you can begin by telling us how it's, what's, how it's, how it's all unfolded here the past week. Uh, yeah, Moncton uh, called me and uh, asked me to be a affiliate for them, and uh, I thought it would be a great opportunity, so I jumped on as soon as I, uh, I could. Hard to believe, in, in, a, in a sense, uh, you were undrafted, and this year you're having a terrific year, uh, leading the Nova Scotia Major Midget Hockey League, but, but to get the opportunity now to play in the Quebec League, had you, had you given up on that, uh, that goal or that hope? Uh, maybe a little bit. Like It wasn't, uh, wasn't looking good for me this year, but I just came into my third year midget um, just thinking i got to have a good year, and uh, it worked out for me. What has Coach Rumble or, or uh, the Director of Hockey Operations, Roger Shannon, said to you? Um, nothing so far. I haven't talked so about you haven't heard anything from. Okay. What? What do you going into tonight? Here it is, your debut. Uh, again, describe the emotions. Here we are, a couple hours before game time. A uh, little bit nervous, but I'm pretty excited to play my first game. Uh, I think it's going to be a great opportunity for me, and I'm just going to work my hard, hard for there. What do you expect? It? You know, it's faster. You know, bigger, older players. What, what, what do you expect this game to be like? How do you expect it? Uh, yeah, it's going to be faster, but I'm a pretty fast player already, so I think I'll fit in well there. Um, Gonna have to do my best with the physicality. I won't shy away from anything, so that'd be good. Your goal is to stay up for the year, or is there a possibility you might end up back in, in, in the major immediate league? Uh, right now, it's just here for this one game, so we'll see where it goes after this. Pretty excited to see him play. Um, I was out actually watching our goalie, um, McDonald, there, and uh, you know, getting a look at him. And in watching him play uh, down at ice level, I saw this, uh, this nifty little centerman out there. It, was, it seemed very, you know, highly intelligent, uh, skated well, um, you know, good skills, had a little nasty to him, and uh, sort of caught my eye and started watching him more and more. And then I got to see him play a second game, and I, I, was, I was intrigued. I thought, uh, geez, this kid looks like a heck of a player. So. Um, Great situation uh, for him, for us. We're, we're in need of uh, some bodies here. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he's going to get a great opportunity to play tonight. And uh, I'm excited to see him play. It's just one game, but uh, what what might happen here with uh, G. Blackmore as you enter your second half? Yeah, um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, you know, what? like I said, we'll get a good look at him tonight. He, he's probably nervous, excited. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm uh, um, excited as well to see him play. And yeah, we'll have to see what happens tomorrow. Like right now, we we're right on the number for players, so we we knew we, we need uh, at least two more guys uh, to f you know to go through the second half. We're not going to go through with uh, 12 and six and two for the rest of the year. So where does it lead? Um, you know, it, it could lead to bigger and better things for him. Um, he's in a good spot now. He's doing well, um, but who knows? You know, could he end up on our, our team for the second half of the season? Possibly. Um, we'll have to wait and see.